this is Lisa from Local King Robert Dan. Welcome to my channel. Hoping you enjoyed all the videos that I have uploaded to the YouTube channel. And uh, we have eight brand new background stamps available online now. Make sure you check it out. So I have used uh, four of the stamp to create the four different, uh, actually, sorry, three. Three, today is going to be the fourth one. If you haven't got a chance to take a look or Jelly Jiggly tutorial video, make sure you check it out. I will put the link below. And or Yuk, Yuk spider web. And also I will put the link below. And then this was the, the last video. I made the boo-boo and then it ended up, turned out to be the sunset finish and I really like it and I think it's so pretty and also if you like to take a look just make sure you click the link below and then today I am actually going to show you how to use this celebra celebration background stamp it's nothing else and it's so easy this is the most easiest card you can create and then you can do it with your eyes closed would you like to learn how to do it that's started. Okay, so today, before we start today's video, you know what? I love to hear from you guys. Uh, I actually received the message from you guys say, hey, Lisa, we like to see your mistake. Yeah, right. I don't like to make mistakes, but we are human. Mistakes happen all the time, and I usually learn something good from my mistake. So I am willing to suck up my sacrifice myself to you know share my mistake with you okay so um today we are not going to use our magic mushroom even though i love my magic mushroom very much but uh, we are not going to use that instead instead of that i'm going to use these uh, makeup uh, sponge tip applicators 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 yes i found them on the dollar store and i think i only paid dollar 25 canadian it's a really good deal you can use any tool you like, and you can color them, you can use alcohol then. Because uh, we are doing those the A, we are introduced or brand new A background stamp, right? So I'm trying to just show you, like a, create a quick video to show you how to use that. Later on, you know me, I like to use the same stamp to create all different kinds of projects. I will come back and use those stamps again to show you what's different way you can play with it. So I like to shopping at a dollar store and uh, for my last few video, I was uh, share with you my awesome tool. This is the paint tool to help you to um, stamp your image, right? So this is actually the one I'm using all the time. And I was uh, share with you this is Deacon Robert Matt, Robert Matt, the, the, the one they used to wash dishes. What I like to do is I just spray some water, I can clean it. And I found out this dish, I was using the cover for the yogurt container and I found out actually they are actually they are kind of like a running I needed something heavy so I found this dish you can find one dish too and then you can just put on top so it's kind of heavy they don't really move they actually grab it they work well but I found out this uh, silicone rubber mat after you use it you kind of have to let the water go you know you know dry it if you leave the silicone mat there with the water after few times use they are going to start to curving they don't get as smooth they will work and then when I found all these dishes I like to share with you because it actually is one of the customer she stamped this dish with the local King Robert stamp so this is our four season two is a, a, a three branches and with a flower leaf snow or something a little two little birdie here is a ceramic uh, she didn't leave her name here and that was the one she made for me and I still have it I just think it's so pretty I like to share with you so sometimes if you find some good stuff on the dollar store use it but sometimes you know I know they have a two dollars clear stamp you know now I don't I think everybody moved to the clear stamp but one thing I can tell you local King Robert stamp will never move to the clear stamp we will continue to do the rubber stand, you know, because the rubber stand is really take a time to create it. It's a clear stamp they can mass produce. They don't need the labor intense. And then, but what can I say? I just love a rubber stand 
than the clear stamp. Okay, so that's the start today's video. Same thing, I already stamped my image with the stays on and make sure they got to be dry. And then this uh, um, project you can do with the eyes closed. Honestly, you can do that. I remember the second year of my um, college life and uh, one time, uh, we walk into the classroom and the, the teacher just give uh, all the students a box of chalks, all different kind of color. And then she actually covered the, all the wall with uh, black uh, paper. And then she said, today we are going to paint without uh, seeing. I don't know, what do you mean, paint without seeing? So she actually turned off the light. So all the students are in the dark room and then she start to play the music. So we have uh, no idea what color of the chalk we are using and we have uh, no idea what we're drawing. She said, just uh, follow, just uh, listen to the music and then try to move, me, uh, move your body and draw the line and then after 20 minutes, she turned on the light. We saw, I wish I took the picture. And then it was amazing, the result. All, like we have a 10 students a class in the class and they all, everybody's artwork is different. So that's doable. You can really, you know, close your eyes, do the drawing. You never know what's turned out, right? Okay, so let's do a fire, uh, firework now. And then you can use any die base impact. And I just uh, too lazy to open all the rubber nakers uh, color view. So I'm, I just have uh, those uh, color in front of me. So which is awesome because one impact have a five color. So I only have to open three, three leads. That's awesome, isn't it? Okay, so it's a firework. This is just so easy. You already probably know what we're gonna do. Just remember if you use this uh, applicator, just a uh, one color, one side, one color, they will last for a long time. So this is one of the tool I actually think is a good quality. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the wrong order. So I'm gonna just start with a little yellow first, and then I'm gonna just find the firework and then draw in a circle. And then I'm gonna turn in my applicator and then pick up the orange and then draw in the other circle. And then I'm going to use the other side, do a little bit pink. And uh, kind of just uh, blending it. See, I really mean it. You know, I really like to think outside of the box. Like I like to leave some white there. I don't like to color everywhere. I think that white actually make this uh, Looks good. And then we are going to do some green. So you can do like a different kind of direction, like a just kind of rubbing on top. Let's do a little bit darker. Okay, and then blue, blue purple. Look how easy, how, how what the way I'm col coloring. Okay, and then pink. Just remember one applicator, one color. And then I'm going to do a little bit more orange here. Oops, see, this one is dirty. Oops, I made a mistake again. Oops, I did it again because my applicator was blue and I go dipping in my orange. Oh my God, luckily this is my impact. If it's my friend's impact, they're gonna kill me right there. Okay, so I'm gonna just clean it. There you go, it's clean. Be very careful. And then I have a very ugly brown firework. That's okay, we learn from there. So I'm going to find the orange here. And then pink there. There you go. Isn't that? That's it. That's done. Okay. So, and then we just mount on the color card stock. You can put anything you like. 
And uh, I don't want to add too much uh, other image because uh, I, these uh, few video I provide, I just want to show you what you can do just with the background stand. So, so far, this is a liberation, um, jelly jiggly, and uh, flower garden, rice the lake. It, who else? They are actually very popular, especially this celebration and the uh, Jiggly Jilly and the Rice Lake. Well, everybody have their own favor, but the magic carpet, I was kind of surprised because uh, not too many order for the magic carpet. I guess I have to come out with a unique tutorial, uh, video to show you how to use it. So. I am definitely going to work on that. So you can put the American flag on top for the July 4th. You, we Canadian, we can put the Canadian flag on top. Uh, Happy Canada's Day. So you can do a lot of things, uh, but I think it's just so pretty, this, right? Isn't it? Later, I'm going to try the gold embossing, um, other different kind of material. And let's see what's uh, turn out. So this is the uh, number four project for four out of a eight brand new background stamp. I hope you like it and leave me a comment. Let me know. And then I hope you enjoy my mistake and uh, learn. Make sure you don't um, make the same mistake I, I did. Okay, so that's today's video. I hope you like it. I am going to working on the next video. See you soon. Bye.